Lots of people are uneasy flying. Although it very rarely happens, we can sometimes get caught up in thinking about the plane suddenly falling out of the sky and the forces that would be applied to our body as we hurtled towards the ground. You get a very slight idea of the feeling when you experience turbulence or a particularly steep bank or climb. And for some people, even that is more than enough. But what if by steep, I meant 90 degrees and a flight path so extreme that at times the plane was upside down. This is the nightmare the passengers of Aeroflot Flight 593 had to endure for two hellish minutes. These are their last moments. <laughs> On the 23rd of March 1994, Russian state-owned Aeroflot Flight 593 was scheduled to leave Moscow and arrive in Hong Kong. The airliner was an Airbus A310-304, carrying 63 passengers and 12 crew members. Many of the passengers were Hong Kong businessmen returning from business trips in Russia. The captain is Andrei Viktorovich Danilov. 40 years of age with 9,675 hours of flight time under his belt. He will pilot the plane for the first several hours when he will take a break before resuming control for the landing. Beside him is relief pilot Yaroslav Vladimirovich Kudrinsky, 39 years of age with 8,950 hours of experience. He will take control of the aircraft during Captain Danilov's break. The first officer, that is the plane's second in command, is 33-year-old Igor Veselovich Piskarov. He will assume Kudrinsky's current position of co-pilot when Kudrinsky moves to the captain's seat. The recovered flight data recorders give us insight into the plane's flight path, and the CVR, or cockpit voice recorder, lets us hear the conversations the pilots had and explains what happened during the flight. Captain Danilov's stint piloting all goes to plan, and after about four hours, he hands his seat over to Kudrinsky and leaves the cabin. One of the passengers of the flight, Vladimir Makarov, is an off-duty pilot and a friend of Kudrinsky's. He is looking after Kudrinsky's two kids on their first international flight. Kudrinsky's daughter, Yana, is 12 years old, and his son, Eldar, is 15. After some time passes with Kudrinsky in control, Makarov brings his children to the cockpit to see their father, and Makarov himself sits down in the jump seat. Although against regulations, it's not unheard of to have guests inside the cockpit, especially pre-9-11, and many children of pilots have probably seen the inside of a cockpit on at least one occasion. It is nearing midnight as they fly over Siberia. With the plane on autopilot, Kudrinsky lets his daughter Yana sit at the controls to give her the impression that she was piloting the plane. Shortly after, his son Eldar is allowed to do the same. But the illusion of control is about to become reality, as Eldar turns the control column far enough to partially override the plane's autopilot. This goes unnoticed by Kudrinsky as he is distracted by Yana. Eldar then realizes the plane is still turning even after he's let go of the control. The plane enters a 45 degree bank as Kudrinsky, Piskarov and Makarov wonder what is happening. Before they can come to a conclusion, the plane banks 90 degrees. The A310 was not designed to bank so steeply and begins to quickly lose altitude. The increased g-forces make it extremely difficult for the crew to regain control and Kudrinsky is unable to get back into the pilot seat. The pilots yell commands at Eldar to turn the plane in the opposite direction. The remaining autopilot systems realize the plane is rapidly falling and to compensate pitch the nose up and increase thrust. This causes the plane to stall. To correct the stall the autopilot puts the plane into a nosedive. Yeah. 
During this, the G-forces reduce enough for Kudrinsky to retake his seat. With the plane falling straight down, the pilots pull hard out of the dive. Too hard. Overcorrecting the dive, they accidentally put the plane into a near vertical climb, which once again stalls it. The passengers, now well aware of the emergency situation, strap in as the stall causes the plane to fall out of the air into a corkscrew dive. Amazingly, the pilots manage to level out the plane, but it's too late. They are too close to the ground to recover. The plane crashes with a vertical speed of around 150 miles per hour into a remote Russian hillside. There are no survivors. It was later found that had the pilots not attempted to correct the plane's path at all, that the autopilot would have eventually sorted it out and avoided the crash. For the 75 people on board Aeroflot Flight 593, this would have meant the terrifying ordeal would have just become a haunting memory. Instead, it was the last thing they ever experienced.